you want to install different Python versions under macOS because you work on different Python projects that require different Python versions or different Python dependencies, or you just want to check out the latest Python release candidate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use different Python versions using PyEnv together with virtual environments and how to use those with Visual Studio Code. Welcome. I'm Cons. I got a master's degree in computer science and currently work as a graduate research assistant in computer science and work with Python on a daily basis, which makes PyEnv to one of my most important tools. Installing and using different Python versions under macOS is actually pretty easy using PyEnv. PyEnv is a command line tool which allows you to seamlessly switch between different Python versions and also enables you to set specific Python versions for dedicated folders. Together with virtual environments, it's an incredibly useful tool for everyone who works with Python. And without further ado, let's jump right into macOS to set everything up. Before we can start to install PyEnv, we have to install other software packages. The first software package we have to install are the Xcode command line tools, for which we are going to use this command Xcode minus select minus minus install, and you can find all the commands used in this video on my website, for which you can find the link down below in the description. So we're going to copy this Xcode command over here and just paste it in the terminal and press enter. And I already installed the Xcode command line tools before. Now we have to install several libraries which will be provided by Brew. We're going to install OpenSSL, Readline, SQL3, XZ and Zlib. And we're going to copy that as well and enter that into our command line and press enter. With those packages installed, we can start installing PyEnv. There are actually two ways to install PyEnv. The first one is to use Brew, and the second one is to install PyEnv directly from GitHub. And I'm going to use the second one because I want a little bit more control over my PyEnv environment. But you can also use the Brew command, and then you just enter Brew install PyEnv. You can also find that on my website. So we scroll down, and we're just going to clone the GitHub repository PyEnv into our home directory under the directory.pyenv and we paste that in our command line and press enter. And with cloning the GitHub repository, pyenv is technically already installed in our system, but we have to set it up now. And for that, we're going to scroll further down on my website and we're going to enter those three commands in the terminal as well. The first one will set an environment variable called pyenv root, which will point to the pyenv directory we just created, which is under home.pyenv. The second one will add the bin directory included in the pyenv root directory into the path. So when we are going to use the pyenv command in our terminal, it is actually found. And the last one is the pyenv init minus minus path, and that will take care of initializing pyenv every time we open a new terminal. So we're just going to copy all three, copy and enter them as well into our terminal and press on enter. This concludes the installation of pyenv under macOS and we are now going to use it. And if you enjoyed the video so far, make sure to give it a like. To use pyenv, we're going to start a new terminal such that the environment variables are set and the init command is run. And now we can enter pyenv and we are going to be presented with the list of all commands that pyenv offers. The first command we're going to issue is the pyenv install minus l command. This will list all the available Python versions that can be installed using pyenv. We're going to enter pyenv install minus l and this will print out a long, long list of Python versions we can install. We have down here Python stackless, pypy, miniconda, Jython, but we are actually interested in the normal CPython implementation. And the latest version available at, at the time of recording this video is the version 3.9.7. And we're just going to copy this string and jump back down. And we enter pyenv install and paste the version string 3.9.7, which will install the Python version 3.9.7 through pyenv. Now that the installation of the Python version 3.9.7 is finished, we can enter pyenv versions, which will list all the Python versions that are currently available through pyenv. We can see we have the system version, which comes with the operating system, and we have the newly installed version 3.9.7. And the currently active version is indicated by this asterisk in front. And we would like to set the version 3.9.7 for the whole system. So we are going to enter pyenv 
global 3.9.7 and this will set this Python version for every terminal we are going to open. So we open a new terminal and in this terminal we are going to enter Python minus V and we can see we're actually running Python version 3.9.7. And I also prepared a little hello world command which prints out the Python version. We can check that as well. That is under Python test. And when we run it with Python hello pi, we can see it prints out hello I'm Python version 3.9.7. However, I would like to check out the latest release candidate of the next Python version with my current project. For that, I'm going to enter pyenv install minus l once again and then we're going to check which is the latest release candidate of python and at the time of recording it is 3.10.0 rc2 i'm going to copy that and enter pyenv install and paste that string and press on enter once again, which will install the latest release candidate of this Python version through pyenv. Now that the installation of the latest Python release candidate is finished, we enter pyenv versions once again, and we can see it is actually available. I don't want to use this release candidate on my whole system. I just want to use it for this project. And for that, I'm going to use the command pyenv local, and I'm going to enter 3.10.0 0rc2 and this will create a .python version file when we have a look here it created the .python version file and when we have a look into that file it includes the version string of this particular python version and if we now enter python minus v we can see we're actually running this python version and we can also check that with our hello world we enter hello pi and we see hello I'm Python version 3.10.0 RC2. Usually your Python projects depend on a lot of different modules. And sometimes those modules have to be at a certain version number. And if I install a new module through pip, it will install this module system-wide for the currently activated Python version through pyenv. However, if I only want to install a module for a specific project, I'm going to use virtual environments. To create a virtual environment for my project, I first have to head into the project directory and inside the project directory, I'm going to enter python-m venv.venv, which will create a .venv directory, which will hold the Python interpreter and all the modules that I will be installing through pip. And we have a look into the .venv directory with ls venv bin. We can see it actually has its own Python interpreter and its own version of pip in here. And that is the version we have set with pyenv. To activate our virtual environment, we are going to enter source venv bin activate. And when it's active, we have this .venv in front of our prompt. And we can now just use the normal Python interpreter minus V. And if we have a look which interpreter is currently used, seen with which Python we see it actually uses the interpreter from our virtual environment. And now I would like to use this virtual environment together with the Python version we have set for Pyenv in Visual Studio Code. For that, I'm going to open Visual Studio Code within my project directory. I just enter code dot and that is will open virtual visual studio code in this directory and we can see we have this hello pi which just prints out the python version to tell visual studio code to always activate the virtual environment when we enter this project we have to add a settings json to our project for that i'm going to enter command shift p to bring up the command palette and then enter settings json and we're going to open the settings json for this workspace. It will open a empty JSON file and in this JSON file, I'm going to enter Python terminal activate environment true. I'm going to save that, close the settings JSON. And if we now go to run, run without debugging, a new terminal opens up and we can see it automatically 
activates our virtual environment, we see we have the .event in the front. And when we run our little hello world script, we can see it says, hello, I'm Python version 3.10.rc2. This concludes this video on how to install different Python versions using PyEnv and how to use virtual environments together with Visual Studio Code and PyEnv. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments if it was helpful for you. And remember that you can find all the commands used in this video on my website for which you can find the link down below in the description. Remember to give this video a like and if you want to catch up with me, join our lovely Discord community. Last but not least, big shout out to my Patreon subscribers for their support. I hope to see you in my next video and bye bye!